Welcome to Swedish Stars part 11. Sweden is a small country who has many international stars. Up to now it's all been women. This is the first video about a man, Swedish film director Noe Nord. He was born Frank Noe Ingmar Nord, 3rd January 1938 in Laholm, a place not far from where I live. I met him many times and did an interview with him in a magazine me and a friend did called Movie Time Shines. I was also on the set while he was filming Linda Flickeborn. His movies were like Ed Wood's and people call him La Holmes Fellini. He was an eccentric amateur and the actors he used were also amateurs. The movies were so bad they were good, the actors looked straight into the camera before they said their lines. His parents were overprotective of Nuwe. He has been described as a proper dressed but very lonesome boy during his school years. His parents had a furniture store in La Holm. His dad died in the 80s and it was that time Nuwe began as a director. <clears throat> Thanks to his film, me and my friend started to do our own project with the actors he used in his movies. He was not very thrilled about that. Nuwe and his mother were tied until her death in 2000. After she died, he changed and didn't look after himself. Nuwe's filmography was a document La Holm, The Little City with a big artwork, a short film from 1966. Topa Kalle Comes to Town, short film from 1983, as you can find on my channel. His full length films were Anna Lena, 1986. Terror 1989, Kalakora 1992, Linda Flickeborn 1995, Bechenelsen from 1998 and Sunen Kjellik from 2003. By the time they had video stores, people rented his films and they were more popular than Terminator 2 and the big blockbuster movies that came out then. People started to notice Noah Nuvold and he was uh, a guest in many TV shows, in many channels on TV. Katinka Linde and Lennart Sandén made a document film. He lived his dream, a film about Noah Nord. People saw him as a fool, some called him a genius. The famous artist in La Holm uh, liked him a lot because he followed his heart and said it's better to go your own way instead of get lost in other people's footsteps. Which says a lot, and Noe sure did go his own way. Noe did a lot of different things, but it's a filmmaker he's mostly will get remembered by. He often used the same actors he worked with before, like Ingmar Bergman did. He looked up to him a lot. Lars Nilsson, Henrik Pohle, Stig Nilsson, Eva Bokhus starred in many of his films. Noe appeared many times in his own movies, like Alfred Hitchcock. He uh, always played a ladies' man, even though his part has nothing to do with the story. He was alone in his uh, private life, so he wrote parts where he could be close to females. In one film he even got a woman to be nude. She was alone at the beach, and from a field nearby comes a man shocked of what is seen and he can't shut his mouth. She says, go ahead and look. It's okay to look at me. And the man runs back in the field. It's strange. One can think, what the hell was he there in the first place? He checked with the police first if he could have that scene in a the movie. They said it was okay. Nuri did the same thing and checked with the police if it was okay to sit behind the wheel in another film because they didn't have any driver license. But one can notice that the car doesn't drive, doesn't move, it's the same scene in the background all the time, but he looked happy to sit there behind the wheel after getting a green light from the police. Nuvel was a unique, a special person. Who sadly died in 2004, only 66 years old. You can uh, find on internet movie of the boss his filmography as a director. If you Google, uh, you will find out more about this director and you can also see clips from his movies on YouTube. Noah Noel didn't care what other people thought of him. He went his own way. His movies are classics and 
If you haven't seen them, I suggest you check them out.